It's about regular savings. So let's look at a sinking fund. As I explained earlier, a sinking fund is simply um, a fund into which an equal investment is made over a number of years so that the entity will make enough money or earn enough money at the end of the year to pay for a commitment or buy something. So as I use the illustration, you said? I said a sinking fund is a fund into which a regular payment is made, okay, for a number of years, okay, to enable the entity earn enough money to pay for some future commitment. To pay for some future commitment. So let's say, for instance, like I used the illustration earlier, if a company wants to buy maybe a machine, but they are broke, so they are putting the money aside. So every year they want to put $20,000 aside. So that in the next 10 years, by the 10th year, if they are going to replace the machine, they will just go to that investment account and all, pay for the machine. Or if the company borrows and the company wants to get the money and pay when it is time for redemption, they will set up a sinking fund into which an annual payment will be what? made. So the sinking fund can be for the repayment of loan or can be for the what? acquisition of assets or payment of any other commitment. Now, so when it comes to the sinking fund, how do we go about it? So let's take a question straight up and then let me use that to do our explanation. We will still be using the, uh, the, the formula, the geometric formula here. A company just bought an asset with a life of four years. A company just bought an asset with a life of four years. A company just bought an asset with a life of four years. At the end of the four years, at the end of the four years, a replacement asset will cost $12,000. At the end of the four years, a replacement asset will cost $12,000. A replacement asset will cost $12,000. And the company has decided to provide for this future commitment and the company has decided to provide for this future commitment and the company has decided to provide for this future commitment by setting up a sinking fund to provide for this future commitment by setting up a sinking fund into which equal annual investment will be made. Into which equal annual investments will be made. Into which equal annual investment will be made. Starting at year one, starting at year one, starting at year one, that is one year from now, starting at year one, that is one year, one year, sorry, from now, the firm will earn interest at 12%. The fund will earn interest at 12%. The fund will earn interest at 12%. Required. Calculate the annual investment. Calculate the annual investment. Calculate the annual investment. So, what's happening here? 
A company has bought a machine right now, and the life of the machine is four years. After the fourth year, if the company wants to replace the asset, it needs how much? $12,000. So this $12,000 is the money they need in four years' time. The examiner is now asking you, how much should the company put aside every year to be able to get what? This $12,000 at 12%. Again, as I mentioned, in dealing with seeking fund, we are going to be using our geometric progression formula. So the question is, what is the 12,000 for? Is it the S or is the A? Or is what? It's for S, Y, A, Y. Because they yeah. So they go to mm -hmm. so is, 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 I'm not uh -huh. and so we are What did the examiner say you should find? Okay. What is the examiner saying we should find? Okay. Annual pay. Yes. So if you are finding the A and you say the twelve thousand is the A. No, you said what I would do. No, I said the 12,000 is for what? Ah! <laughs> this guy has to flash your head. Okay, so let's go. So S is what? 12,000. S is 12,000. A, we don't know that's what we're looking for. What is our interest rate? 12%. So big R would be what? 0.12 plus 1, and that will be 1.12. Am I right? So let's substitute inside 12,000 equals A out 1.12 exponent 4 minus 1 over 1.12 minus 1. So what do you do here? I have so much in here, and you here. So you do cross multiplication. This is what we did it in KG3. Cross multiplication, you do, do you, this one multiply this and this one multiply this. So it becomes 12,000 into brackets 1.12 minus 1 equals A out 1.12 exponent 2 minus 1. So let me have an answer. Okay. Exponent 4. Let me have an answer for this. 1440. 1440 four, equals, or oh, he has a decimal. No. A out 1.12 exponent 4 minus 1. What are we making the subject? A. A. So we divide both sides by 1.12 as minus, minus 1 exponent 4 over 1.12 exponent 4 minus 1. So this will cancel that A will be equal to 144, 1.12 exponent 4 minus 1. What you got? Are you getting the same thing? So that's the idea about sinking fund. So put it down, let's look at another question. Now assuming, this is annual payment, right? So assuming they say we should do monthly payment, what, what do you do? You just divide it by what? 12. Why, you don't get it there, sir? 
per annum. The loan has to be repaid through 10 equal installments. The loan has to be repaid through 10 equal installments. The loan has to be repaid through 10 equal installments. After each of the next 10 years through 10 equal installments after each of the next 10 years. What is the annual repayment? What is the annual repayment? What is the annual repayment? Is the annual repayment? Is the annual repayment? 